Hey guys, it's me Jake from Jakeman21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2015 Buick Encore. This one is a front wheel drive leather trim level. As you can see, this one's finished off in a titanium gray exterior, which looks great on the vehicle. Down below, you can see your kind of darker gray body cladding that follows along. This one also does have chrome door handles right there and your body colored mirrors with your blind spot monitoring built in right there. Up top, this one is equipped with a sunroof and your roof rails. Up front too, you also do have some chrome accenting on the hood and chrome accenting below the windows. Tinted rear privacy glass. And around the rear, your Buick and Encore badges. So as this one is equipped with a rear backup camera. Fuel cap is on the passenger side. Just make sure it's unlocked, come up, and press release. Down below, this one is riding on Firestone Firehawk tires. And these tires are pretty much brand new. They're in fantastic shape. They are 215, 55, R18, so you do have 18 inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes. You can see your wheel locks are installed on this one as well. And around this side, everything else follows through. Up front, this one does have projector headlights, fog lights. You can see your blue accenting around the fog lights in typical Buick fashion. On the key itself, it is your typical GM switchblade key. You do have lock, unlock, panic, and then this one is equipped with remote start. Just press and hold. Just like that, it starts up. Go ahead and get in this one. This one does have the steel gray leather interior, which does have a very nice looking two-tone scheme. With your gray in the middle and then black around the edges your light blue stitching. On the door itself, more of the two-tone follows through. Go ahead and start it. Typical GM, just insert the key. And to start, just flick. Go ahead and close the door. And inside, this one does have a leather wrap steering wheel, your chrome accenting around here, audio system controls on the wheel, cruise controls on this side, and nice and surprisingly tight power steering for a Buick. On the door, up top, it's all padded material around here. You have your wood grain and padded stitched leather on the door. All four of your power windows, power locks, power mirrors, some storage down here. Headlight controls, they are automatic, and then push right here for fog lights. Right here is your gauge dimmer as well. On the dash, it's all soft padded material all the way across. It's high quality. This is honestly a pretty nice interior. Turn signals over here as well as your bright controls. And right here, you can scroll through the menu on your gauges. Your tachometer, those aren't any warning lights. That's just letting you know the headlights are on. That's for the parking brake. And then that's just your seatbelt warning. And then the fog lights over there. Uh, engine temperature, fuel gauge, and then down here. This one does have just over 70,000 miles. You can see your speedometer right there. Up top is your audio system. Very nice, simple to use. You have all of your preset stations and everything around here. All of your different controls, home, source. This one is equipped with navigation as well, which will come up right there. All of the different controls, everything else. Um, like I said, preset stations, all of that. Go back to the home screen. AM, FM, CD, auxiliary in, satellite radio, Bluetooth, everything you'd expect. And the sound system itself in this vehicle is very good. Traction control on and off, hazards on and off, and like I said, all the controls for the rest of it are around here. You kind of just scroll through with this, and you can use this as well to navigate, and then press down to select. Heated seats for the driver and passenger, as well as a heated steering wheel. Dual zone automatic climate control, very simple to use. Different zones right there, fan speed and everything else. And like I said, it is automatic heated seats. And you can see too, one thing I really like, is this one does have your kind of like ice blue interior lighting for everything typical of all the newer Buicks, but it's a very pretty color. Storage down here, more storage, and then power outlet, as well as you have a USB port and your auxiliary in under there. Storage, as I said, aluminum trim around the shifter for the six speed automatic this one is equipped with. Manual mode, controlled by right there. Two cup holders, and one thing I also did forget to mention, is this one is equipped with a rear backup camera. Parking brake right here. 
then flip the armrest out of the way. You do have some storage and your armrest. Seats are very comfortable, high quality leather, and like I said, they're the two-tone, which looks really cool. Up top, sunroof controls, interior lighting controls, sunroof right there, Bluetooth microphones for the driver and passenger, and your visor with your vanity lights built in, auto dimming rear view mirror with OnStar. Overall, this interior is a nice place to be. It's a really comfortable driving position. This car does have a nice amount of tech too, but it's all very simple to use and it's honestly pretty enjoyable to drive. And with the size too, it's a great city vehicle. We'll step out, unlock all the doors and pop the hood. Inside of the rear seat on the Sancor, Everything follows through with your padded stitched leather around here. Stepping in, I'm 6'2", and the front seat's where I would sit, so despite this being a small SUV, you really do get a great amount of space. The tinted rear privacy glass is a very nice touch too, but I can sit by myself, it's very comfortable. Seats, same nice leathers up front, and they're in great shape. You have an armrest, as well as a Bluetooth microphone for your rear passengers. Handles on each side as well as back seat pockets. You can see too, it's a nice low floor in the rear seat which makes it more comfortable for taller people. The seat sits up nice and high, so you get a nice amount of support if you are a taller person. And it's nice too for a conversation with the front passengers. Also one thing too, is the rear seats do fold down. Just pull right there, but we'll release this piece. And then, Make sure the headrest is folded in, and the seat will fold flat, just like that. Coming to the trunk, I did leave part of the seat folded down. So you can see, even though this is a smaller vehicle, you get a great amount of cargo space in the trunk itself. And you can see that's your space with the seat folded down versus with the seat up. Storage on the sides, as well as different tie downs, things like that. Another storage compartment. Underneath of here, you have the subwoofer for your audio system, as well as your spare tire, everything else. And up top, this one does include your cargo cover, which is removable. Same operation to fold the seat on this side. Just pull, release it, that folds forward, and then that will fold down. Bring this side back up, nice and easy. Just like that, it will latch down into place. Up front, this one does have a partial power passenger seat, lumbar's power, as well as back and forth. And up here, you have a storage compartment. And then down below, you have another compartment. This one includes your wheel lock key and everything else, as well as all of your owner's literature, everything of that nature. And up front, this one does have halogen projector headlights, fog lights, and then under the hood, It is equipped with Buick's 1.4 liter Ecotec turbo four cylinder. It's all in great shape. You can see this one does basically have a brand new battery in it as well. Everything's in great shape, running fantastic. And with this engine, especially in front wheel drive, you'll get excellent gas mileage in one of these. Bring the driver's side automatic window back up. Cut it off right here. Move the key, and it will try and remind you to put the headlights in automatic mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.